Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Nothing Edited. How's everybody doing this morning? It's a beautiful sunshiny day here, but it's 42 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm headed to uh, Walmart to do a grocery pickup. I'm not going to the one that I used to go to. Uh, every time I went there, there was a, something uh, either... A lot of the stuff I wanted, uh, they didn't have because I've eliminated a lot of substitutions on my list. Uh, I have to now. and Or I would get there. This is what happened the last time. It's happened like three times in the past at the old Walmart I was going to. Uh, you pull up in the parking lot and you get a text saying your order is not ready. Not sure when it will be. Uh, I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> and, uh, so, they, they don't have any, uh, plans to improve that store because I didn't talk to one but two managers uh, about, you know, how things were actually going. Uh, I leave, they have a thing where you can, uh, do a survey online, and I did. And I did an honest survey, review, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, <laughs> Believe it or not, a manager actually called me from that store. So the first one I did not reach out and contact, he reached out to me. And then I placed my order and I was to pick it up the next day and I called. That time I called and I spoke to a different manager. And lo and behold, I get there, my order's not even ready. And so my pickup time was between... Uh, 9 and 10, which is the same as this one is here. The reason I do that is because of these school zones. 40 miles an hour is slow enough, you know what I mean? Through this same stretch here I just drove. So, uh, I wasn't happy about that. I had like a 20 minute wait sitting out there in a the parking lot. And so I left another thing popped up the little survey thing again to do the survey review and so I did it and the original manager I talked to the first time was the same one that replied to it. He didn't call me, he replied to it. You know, basically saying I hope your next shopping experience is better. So I replied back, I said it will be because I'm using the other one. <laughs> I put the address of the other one that I'm using and knock on wood so far so good no problems with uh, this, this Walmart that I'm using today that's an odd place to have a Burger King there's not even an exit back there yet hmm. I'm sure that's hurting business shutting down the exit that we used to have there where all these uh, companies here They have to go all the way around the world to get over here now with that exit closed back there. Mm. Wow. I spent a lot of time watching uh, movies here lately. I don't know why. I don't, usually my attention span is not that long. But we all know that recently, uh, an actor that I really, really liked, uh, Cicely Tyson, passed away. And it's ironic that two weeks ago, I had watched a movie that a part of it was actually filmed on my grandparents' property. Uh, and that's the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman that Cicely Tyson starred in. The part in the movie where they burned down the schoolhouse was actually burned between two giant oak trees on my grandparents' property. And uh, it was a, a, a shanty shack. It was old, uh, it was just like it showed in a movie. Uh, that, that's what they burnt down. Which, uh, my grandparents got paid for that uh, pretty good. It was fun though to go out there and hang on the fence or sit up on the chicken coop or wherever we were at 
to watch the filming and how long it took to shoot that short scene, you know. Now, yes, it was done at night, but we still were out there. They had their lights out there and everything, uh, lighting up the... It was a pasture, but it had two big oak trees on that uh, particular part of the land. And we could see everything that was going on. Heck, you could look out the bedroom window, Grandma, Grandma's bedroom, and see everything that was going on. But it was interesting and education, something to watch that you probably never get to see in your lifetime, you know. I actually already knew who Cicely Tyson was from uh, the movie Sounder, and I really wanted to meet her. But she wasn't there, because if you remember the, the scene in the movie, it's when she was still a child. The little girl was there, which didn't interest me at all. I wanted to see Cicely Tyson, and I was very upset that I didn't get to meet her. <laughs> she had some phenomenal roles, and... She did get acknowledgement, but I think she should have got a lot more acknowledgement. That's just my personal opinion. I've, I've never seen her in a bad movie. Never. You know? It was interesting, to say the least. But getting back to movies, all of a sudden, I started watching movies. So that basically started about two weeks ago, me watching movies. And uh, I've been wrapped up in that. I'm still keeping up with the channels uh, that I support and that support me back. A lot of people may not agree with how I do my channel, but this is exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to watch every single channel that I'm subscribed to that does not leave me a comment. So what I do on my video, so what I do is if you drop me a comment on one of my videos, I click on your channel and I, if you have a new one, I will watch it. Sometimes I've even watched one that I know I haven't seen and I'll watch it, you know, like and uh, comment on it, do it the right way and uh, come back and uh, reply to your your comment on my comment. That's how I do it. That's how I rock. That's how I roll. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't seen me in a while, maybe it's because you haven't been to my channel. <laughs> you know, I don't do sub for sub, but I will do watch for watch, view for view. You know, and I'm not saying that I do that with all channels. There's some channels I watch everything that pop out there. You know, but they, in return, you know, I have to admit they're watching mine. Those who are slackers and stuff that, you know, I'm always supporting their channel, going to their lives and watching their videos and stuff, um, I'm probably going to just discontinue doing that. Uh, you know, you know, it's only fair. It's a fair way to do it, you know. That's in my personal opinion. I mean, I'm not trying to get monetized. I've already been monetized. So that's not something new for me. <coughs> I just didn't accept the monetization. And even though my views seem to be down and my uh, watch time appears to be down, uh, I still have over 4,000 hours. Now, I did lose three of them, 3,000 uh, views, which I expected to because I unlisted uh, most of my lives. Uh, I have one up right now. So. Yeah, this is a different route than y'all are used to taking with me. I may have come this way once and did a uh, ride along. I'm not really sure. Might have been, maybe I did it on the first time I used this particular Walmart. Then I actually went back and gave the other Walmart a chance. But, uh, 
it wasn't, they didn't deserve it. So I'd rather drive a few miles out of my way and get quality service than uh, mess with them. So, oh, I just got an email, to, uh, mess, a text that says that my order is ready. Yes, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> mm, let's see. I'll have to wait till I get there, I guess, to see substitutions if there are any. Because I don't know. It says my order's ready. Come on, open it up. Amount of red light. Okay. Oh, no substitutions. Great. Love that. So everything that I've paid for is going to be in my order. Uh, yeah, it pays to click the don't substitute. Especially on stuff like Activia, the Activia yogurt that I'm, I'm uh, eating and uh, vegetables and stuff like that. Uh, order them in a certain quantity for a reason. Y'all will see this video before y'all see the... Uh, Walmart haul video. So, yeah, this is this is a longer ride than the last one. Been going to the other one, but I like it. And I know y'all can't see the store to the right of me over here, but uh, I mean to the left of me. Uh, that's the bread store that I will be going to. I go in there, and uh, they have some of the box junk food that my husband likes for. Uh, a dollar a box. Ooh, I better slow down. Ooh, no. Mm mm. Sound like lit, dead clamping in a minute. Mmm, doggy. <laughs> Hope this isn't boring to y'all. Oh, school zone. See, I want to avoid the school zone, but you get over here in Baytown, and there's a totally different school times. Goodness gracious. Well, I avoided the main one that I was trying to avoid time-wise. I don't like doing the 10 to 11 uh, pickup. Too much uh, going on for me. Y'all, Lone Star Pioneering is going to start a new thing on his channel about called Saturday Night Lives. He told me that he was going to... Uh, do them every Saturday at 7 p.m. And this Saturday, y'all need to go over there and watch uh, his live because he suggested uh, last Saturday that he was asking people for weird combinations and food combinations uh, to, for him to try to eat. So uh, he's, he's doing the one I suggested uh, last Saturday. And y'all need to go over there and find out what it was. And I actually talked to him yesterday on the phone. He, where did you come up with that combination? I said, I actually ate it when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter. He goes, what? <laughs> I said, yeah. But it's a strange combination, and that, it, it'll be fun to see if he can handle it. It'll really be fun to see if he can handle it. <laughs> you know. <coughs> now, if it was me doing a video, which is what I did in real life, is I would take a bite of one and then a bite of the other. I wouldn't mix it together and try to eat it because I, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I might have ate it back then. You get them weird cravings when you're expecting a kid. But y'all need to go over there to uh, watch that. It's Saturday at 7 p.m. And uh, I think it'd be quite enjoyable for everybody to watch. And be there every Saturday. Southern Boy Prepper finally got enough time to uh, drop a video. Uh, he's got a lot going on uh, with his work, and um, his beautiful wife Kelly's been sick. You know, uh, she needs prayers, y'all. Uh, Tony Walsh over there at Walsh Farms, his family uh, lost their sister-in-law, his brother's sister, uh, and they need prayers as well, y'all. So. Y'all can take a moment. I'd appreciate it if y'all, you know, send prayers up to them. But anyway, I'm almost to this Walmart. And I know this is a long ride along. 
Um, but I haven't done one in a while. It doesn't seem like I have. I'm trying to get back to my mojo, y'all, to do my videos and stuff. I appreciate y'all for hanging in there with me. I know my videos have been sporadic. Y'all might see uh, three in one day. Y'all might not see but one every three or four days or whatever. I'm trying to get back into it. Um, look, this being sick with that ulcer uh, is really bad. I'm only nine pounds away from being the weight I was at the time I actually married my husband. Uh, <laughs> I met him. Met him and married him. I, I was at the same, I stayed the same weight the whole time. But here we are, y'all, at Walmart. And I have to, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is the correct place to be. All right, little dude. Thank you. Yes, I'm one of those who like to park out in the middle of the parking lot. And no, less nobody is going to take those ties and tie my car doors. And I know if I ever ha see that happen, it was you that did it over there at Lone Star Pioneer. Because we live in the same general area. You will be sorry because I know your, what your vehicle looks like too. And it will be yours I aim at, not at your wonderful wife's Teresa's car. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. This is Nothing Edited, and I'm out.